what does music represent philosophically, brother? Dude, this is this is what gets me. This is why music is philosophically sound, okay? And this was a huge thing that stuck with me, which is life life is better when you're on the upward climb, when you are on the hill towards that plateau because life kind of sucks when you hit the top and you've reached the pinnacle and you look down and you're like, I've done it. This is I've did it. What well, what's next? Oh. This kind of sucks. What do I do next? Like the human condition doesn't allow us to just sit still. Like we have to keep moving. So the best parts of our life are when we're on that upward climb. And what does music represent? Music is tension. What makes musical pieces desirable is those moments when you have that, that it's like, oh, this chord, it's making me feel a little uneasy. When is this chord going to resolve? Mm. And the chord just builds up. What do you get in, in like EDM? You get built up. Do, 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 do. It's tension, rep repetition. It builds up. And what does that cause us to do? We get the tension. We're starting to feel it. The, you, can feel the, you can feel the rhythm start to pick up. You can feel those notes repeat over and over again. And you're waiting to return back to home base. And that's very much like life. You want to return back. But then once you get to that point, you're like, this kind of sucks. You I kind of want to be back in that again. tension. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's very, it's very parallel to life. It's like music and our enjoyment of the experience of music parallels life in so many different ways. We love, we love those builds ups. And then we love when there, there's like that breakdown or that moment when it's just like, ah, did you hear the beat drop? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like that's EDM or you can get it in metal when metal has those moments when you know there's going to be a huge breakdown or you can get other pieces when there's a huge buildup of tension like jazz, for example. Jazz. I was it's, literally it's just like, about to say jazz, man. Jazz does it so good. There's like jazz, so many. Jazz is the craziest chords. version of expect the unexpected, you know, when it comes right. to music. And I think that's why the, the actual artists behind jazz, like I have so much especially when you see them live, you're like, what? Like, it's literally the bass and the drummer, like one at a time, even sometimes just holding the whole band together and everyone else is just skip it up and, up and, up and, up. And, then, right. <laughs> and then eventually they just find this point, whether it's rehearsed or not. Many times it's just intuition amongst the band members that just snap right back into place. And that's like, the, as the listener, you just been like in this free fall this whole time. Wait, they're still together. Going. They're still yeah, together. They're exactly. still cohesive. That's exactly. what makes it cool, bro. Like when Insane. they're all like, they go a little bit crazy and then they come back together and you're like, wait, that was part of the, that was a part of the performance. Yeah. Dude, yeah, it's yeah like, I thought they cool. got their sheet music messed up for a second there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love that dude. Um, I think you, you actually nailed it on the head too. When you were talking about, you know, the, the anticipation of music and also the climb that we go through in life and how, many times the climb is satisfying because we're expecting or anticipating the resolve of finishing and reaching the goal. But then once you reach the goal, you realize that what you were actually addicted to, what you actually craved was the climb itself, was the anticipation. That's what made the goal satisfying in the first place. No one's just like hitting the C chord, like boom, and they're like, yes, that's a banger. No, it's like the song is built around getting them to that point. The anticipation, the work of the bob and weave, the in and out of the song before it finally resolves at that satisfying chord. How boring would music be if it was just that satisfying chord the whole time? There's no tension. There's, there's nothing. No, there's no... There's no work. You, that nev you, you never do. left home. You're just there. Boom. Like, okay, well, uh, that's cool. Uh, constant. That's just like, that's just like when you, with anything in life, when you engage too much in a pleasurable activity, it doesn't feel good anymore. It like, loses its value. It loses its value. That's like any drug that feels good. Um, actually, we'll talk about that in a little bit, the, the opioid example, but just like opioids, you know, patients that have low back pain, they take opioids. Everybody knows that like, you keep taking the opioid, it's not going to reduce your pain anymore over time. It attenuates, it stops working. Like, and that's how, that's how it is with music. Anything that, that feels good for too long starts to lose its value because, because life and the experience that we're in is dichotomous in nature. You always, as a creature, as human beings, we have to compare to other things. It's always comparative. You can only know what it is not 
by what it is. Okay. So if I'm always experiencing good, I start to feel bad because I have to, I have to experience the other. So if you're only experiencing good things in your mind, you're actually going to create discomfort so that you can understand and actually continue to exist because it's like the human framework, the human mind, it has to exist in a dichotomy regardless of what you're doing. Yeah. Like the nature that we, we comprise based on the hardwiring in our mind that we've been, you know, acquired that we've acquired through generations of, of not doing what we're doing now. I'll tell you that much (laughs) through generations of actually having to struggle hard and hard and hard versus nowadays, many things are just handed to you instant gratification. And I think many people in probably the most comfortable society we've ever lived in highest depression rates, I mean, there's plenty of factors we're not going to go into right now, but it's, it's, it's much, much more than just we are plateaued and we just are comfortable. But at the core of this, this conversation here and relating it to music and into our, the nature of our mind, we are built to seek discomfort. We're built to attain a higher level of achievement through work. And whether you learn this the hard way or learn this via advice, you're going to experience it one way or another when you have been plateaued in a comfort zone for much too long, you will eventually begin to crawl in your own skin. You become so uncomfortable just being there. And, you know, going back to the music is it's much the same. Things can get very repetitive and boring, even if it's the most satisfying note, most satisfying chord it's the journey really is is what i'm trying to get at here the journey that makes it satisfying because that's just how we're built